The UAE has withdrawn its bid to host the 2026 World Bank and IMF meeting in favor of Qatar. Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Egypt are ranked in the top 10 arms importers globally. Good news as prices of over 900 goods have been reduced for the holy month of Ramadan. And finally, Moroccan star Badr Benoun has been issued a fine by Qatar's Football Association. Hi, it's Ali. This is the roundup. Here are today's top story. The United Arab Emirates has withdrawn its bid for hosting the 2026 World Bank and International Monetary Fund meeting, a Reuters report stated. Instead, the UAE are set to be in support of Qatar as a potential host, with this being the latest sign of the warming of ties between the two nations. The decision came during a phone call between Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and UAE's President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, with Sheikh Mohammed wishing Qatar success in hosting the global gathering. Now, now, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute has reported that Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Egypt are ranked among the top 10 largest importers of weapons and arms in the last five years. Saudi Arabia ranks as the second largest arms importer globally, with some of their purchases being aircraft, defense systems, missiles and more. Qatar comes in at third with a host of buys such as naval weapons, ships, sensors, among others. Meanwhile, Qatar's Ministry of Commerce and Industry announced that the discounted consumer goods initiative officially started as of Sunday, the 12th of March, till the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Over 900 goods are being offered at discounted prices at all major sales outlets around the Gulf state. The ministry has launched this initiative to help reduce the burden on members of the community by assisting them in the holy month. And finally, Moroccan footballer Badr Benoun, who plays for Qatar Sports Club, has been penalized by Qatar's Football Association. Benoun has been fined 5,000 rials for showing unsportsmanlike conduct in an Emir Cup match against Al Gharafa, where his team lost 4-1 and subsequently got eliminated from the tournament. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.